Uh, welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today I just want to follow up with a different type of video. This won't be a really a real review a review of each one of these Lyman pliers here because it would take too long. So I just wanted to give you guys a chance just to look at them and appreciate them. And uh, you know, if you have a story of some of these pliers, you may have you may have some. I mean, a pair you may have used a pair before or planning on purchasing a pair. You know, just leave it in the comment, man. Let's talk tools. Okay, and uh, so I, I just put them out here for you guys to enjoy, and um, I don't know, just just do that. I'll just tell you a little history about each one of them, and, and we'll move on and just keep it like that. So, um, as always, fellas, uh, I want to thank you guys, uh, those of you who subscribe to the channel already, and supporting the channel with, you know, with, uh, with your su subscription, and you know, hitting that like button that's, uh, that's underneath the video, the thumbs up. I appreciate it, helping the channel grow. And uh, I'm trying to put out some uh, some material that you guys can really benefit from, okay? So, um, you know, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. So all that's out of the way now, so let's just talk about this. Guys, what you see before you is uh, some tools that I've had for a long time. Uh, I've given a few away, and they've given, given them back to me. Like, for example, those, uh, these right here, I've given them to my son and he, he's given them back to me. He got another pair. Don't know which ones he, you know, he see he's young and I'm saying, I've been trying to teach him. He's an HVAC, uh, thing, uh, technician and he's going to school for that. But so he wants to go to the military and he wants to, uh, you know, pursue his career in the military. And I don't want to stop him either because I know the learning that he's going to get there. And, uh, if he's going to make out a career, he's going to be a true professional. But anyway, um, uh, you know, those were given to him before. And I've been, in fact, a lot of these tools were given to him before. And, you know, I guess he just, I don't know, maybe it's the wrong color. Remember, you're dealing with a 19 year old. Um, and maybe it's the wrong color. It didn't match his shirt. I don't know. It didn't match his pants. I, I, I don't know. But, um, you know, I'm glad to take it back because I don't want him to, you know, uh, just, just destroy the tool or throw it away or, uh, you know, so I took it back. Anyway, I'm going to just call out the names of a lot of the tools that you see before you. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you a little history about them, what I think about them, and we'll just go from there. To your left at the top, that's by, by uh, it's, it's, to, the name of that tool is by Westward. I've heard that Westward is, a, uh, is I think they put out by Granger. Someone told me Granger. Am I right? I'm not sure. But anyway, I got it off the internet years ago. And uh, it's an insulated tool rated for 1,000 volts. And uh, it's, a, it's a real nice tool, very nice tool. And uh, it's by a company called Westward. Um, next, and it's a nine inch uh, Lyman plier with uh, the crimper, the crimper, the teeth in the back, cross hat teeth in the front, and it's ready for a thousand votes. Really nice pliers, really nice pliers. And you guys need a pair of Lyman pliers, I mean uh, insulated, you need some insulated tools if you don't have one have any, get some insulated tools. Right next to it, this one is made by uh, Channel Lock. It's their nine inch Lyman pliers with the dipped handles. These are, these don't have, let me see, they don't have the, uh, the uh, fish tape, it doesn't have fish, fish tape puller, it doesn't have a crimper, it just has the grip in the front, the crosshatch grip in the front, it has a knife and it has a grip in the back. These are nice too. You would have to you would have to hold these in your hand to see what I'm talking about. Um, only thing the, the only way I could describe these is just being very nice. The model number is three six nine, and it's by Channel, Channel Lock, and it's made in the USA. These are some in this machine perfectly, y'all. You know I don't feel no no sharp edges on them at all. They they're really nice. So if you're looking for a pair that won't break the bank, get these. Get these right here. If you know, if you're looking for a pair that just uh, that you not you not worry about the cushion grip or anything, grips or anything like that, get that. Next to it is Gartner and Bender. This their nine and a half inch Lyman pliers. Uh, Gartner and Bender has been out for a while, also uh, been around for a while. Don't know exactly how long, but they've been around for a while. You don't hear much about them, but they're big um, in some areas of the state. Uh, I just here in Texas, I don't see a lot of stuff as far as tools by them, but. Um, you can find a lot of their stuff on eBay, um, and and you know they make a lot of chemicals like uh, liquid tape, and um, you know they make uh, uh, heavy equipment also for electricians too, like uh, wire pulleys. 
you know, and uh, automatic wire pulleys and things like that. So they, they, they've been around for a while. Uh, I think they also make uh, multimeters. I wouldn't buy any, but they make multimeters. You know, I don't think they make them themselves. I think they rebrand, you know, some of the cheap stuff out there, but I wouldn't buy any. But these pliers here are really nice. If you guys run across a pair and the price is right, these are really cheap. I think I paid like $18, $19, if I'm not mistaken, but they're really nice. They got the grip here in the back. They got the crimper. They got the crosshatch teeth in the front, the grip handles, um, and the knife is really sharp. So very nice, guys. Very nice. So if you're looking for a pair of lining pliers, uh, by Gartner, you get those by Gartner and Brenda. The ones next to it is these uh, lime, uh, uh, Ideal Industries, model number 30-3430. These uh, My Ideal Industries, they have a new model that they just came out with. The same number I just read off to you, 30-3430, but they have two letters on the end of the zero right here, is BA, and that would be these right here, the, the newest model right here. But these are very nice, very nice by Ideal Industries. I like them. They feel good. They're quality made. In fact, these the, uh, the plier itself is the same exact plier. The only difference with them is just the handle. If I take these handles off and put them on here, it'll, be this, it'll be, become this plier and, and vice versa. Um, but these are some very nice, the, the cushion grip feel, feels really good. So if you run across a pair of these pliers, if you ran across a pair of these pliers, uh, and it's, you know, and yeah, I, I had to choose out of the out of the newer ones and these, I would get these because these these are really nice too, high quality. But if they're the same price, uh, I mean, if, if you run, um, uh, run across both of them, get the cheapest one out of these two and you, you won't go wrong. Uh, but some, these are some very nice pliers by ideal. Knipex, some people call them Nipex. I call them Knipex. So don't, don't, don't leave in the comics trying to tell, trying to tell me I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, I've heard it from, that I'm pronouncing it right, Knipex. Okay, so anyway, this is a uh, Knipex. This is their nine inch uh, model right here. The model number is, uh, I think it's 090240. This is their uh, um, Lyman's pliers, nine inch. It doesn't have the crimper. They just have the grips in the back right here with the teeth, the crosshatch teeth in the front right here, and the cutter. And you know, they already come out of the pack loose already like that, y'all. Yo. You don't have to, you don't have to oil it up or anything, and that's a plus. It's not like the Klein that you have to dip and leave in oil and beat around just to get them loose. Have them, you have to own them for six years before they become halfway loose. No. Uh, these come out of the pack like that, that's a plus. And client, if you're listening, you can do something about that. Your pliers don't have to come out like, you don't have to beat them, you know, beat them, throw them around and dip them in oil just to get them loose. You've been, you've been making tools for a long time, client. You should be able to get yours to do this out of the pack. So anyway, uh, these are nice guys, but they're kind of expensive. They're, you know, kind of expensive Knipex. They're made in Germany also. Some people say China, but whatever. Um, when, you, when I Googled it, it said Germany. Channel locks, just their cold blue series, very nice pliers. Uh, these are almost, the, the grips on the ideal and these pliers are the same. See the L that's at the top? This has an L too. I think the same company that made the grips made them for, the, for channel locks and it just got them dipped in uh, uh, dyed blue. These pliers are really nice also. They have the grip, uh, the crimper, have the teeth right here. Also have a little spot for when you're cutting wire to help you peel wire, insulation of wire, crosshatch teeth, nice, the, the knife is pretty sharp, and they feel good. These are nine inch pliers, very nice. The model number for these would be our uh, 369CRCB. 369CRCB. Very nice, very nice pliers if you guys are looking for some. Uh, now these right here, these are by a company called Van Pliers. These were sent to me along with some other stuff that they sent me to, to for me to do a review. And I, I'm going to always tell you guys the truth. I don't care who send me what to to do a review of one of their tools. I'm not going to lie for that company. I'm going to give you guys the truth because if, if their shoe was on the other foot, I want you to tell me the truth. These pliers right here, even though they say that they're, they're Lyman pliers, and I'm not saying it. It's, I'm only going by what they say. Lyman's pliers, nine, nine inch Lyman's pliers. They don't feel like Lyman's pliers to me. Uh, the, the cutter here is, is, is okay. 
Uh, I, I kind of like this little, these teed up here, but um, they have a crimper. But this is not your everyday average lineman pliers. And um, I, I don't know. I can't see, I can't see myself, I, you know, something about them, I don't, they don't even feel like electrical pliers to me. I wouldn't recommend them. I guess if you had them around the house, well, yeah, I'd use them. I wouldn't go out and buy them. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't go out and buy these um, Lyman pliers. I just don't see them as being Lyman pliers. Um, they just don't fit in the, in the grips. It's okay. It's it's better than holding on to just plain iron or steel, I would say. But uh, compared to the rest of American-made pliers right here, that what I see, now these don't stand a chance. Now they have the little lanyard here, right there. That's a plus for those if you do like this pliers, these pliers. And uh, what I'm saying about these pliers are my just my opinion. You know, I mean, they have some other people out here that just might say something different. That's cool. I'm just telling you my opinion. Uh, the model number for these would be VT dash zero zero one dash nine no that's a patent number uh i think it's 190 oh wait a minute let me make sure here we go uh model number yeah vt dash zero zero one dash nine that's it vt dash zero zero one dash nine for the nine inch pliers so um but it's not they're okay but it's not my cup of tea these right here, if I had to choose the, yeah, the Cobalt and these right here, I'm going with the Cobalt. And you see what I'm talking about when I say that, you know, they just don't look like lime um, uh, electrician pliers. Look how small and narrow these are compared to these right here. You know, they just, these feel like lime. When you think of lime and pliers, you think of something big, bulky. You know, it looked like it could cut anything. It can handle anything, you know. Um, so, but these doesn't. These like, like, look like, like, D uh, DIY pliers around the home and uh, you're doing it for light stuff around your home. But no, and, and maybe that's what you want it for. If that's what you want it for, we'll get them. But these Kobo pliers right here, very nice, very nice pliers, I think, uh, for the buck. Um, it won't be my first choice when I go in the store, but if I, uh, I'm just starting out on a budget and, I'm, and I don't want to break the bank, I don't have too much money to spend at the moment, I'll, I'll go with these. These will serve the purpose until I go to making money and uh, to move up to start buying a better uh, a better quality too. This is not the worst quality I've seen, but this would do. This would do. Okay. Right here, it's made by Weha. This is their um, insulated version, uh, tested at 1,000 volts. These are not as large as, as some of the American-made pliers. And uh, what's the word I want to say? I don't think... The cutter here don't feel as sharp as some of the American made pliers. They, they were cut, but not real big wire. Uh, the crimper here is made a little bit different, it's, but I think it'll get the job done. I like the, the teed up here. It, it doesn't feel as rigid as the rest of them, but it's okay. I like that. I also like, um, I mean, they, you know, I, they, they're okay. They're okay. So, uh, but this is their version by Weha of uh, their Lyman pliers insulated. Siren is a is Siren is a company that um, I think they licensed uh, uh, some of the people who saw my previous video of these pliers. They say they look like uh, uh, NWS pliers, and they mentioned some other pliers, some other name I can't remember. But if those of you who know Irwin Irwin pliers, they have some with the blue handle, look exactly like this, um, exactly like this. Now um, I've heard what I've read through one of my comments. From one of the comments that these are the fake they may be but they don't feel like it they feel really good they feel real high quality and i'm telling you these uh, i would take these if these are fake i would take these over the uh the vampires and um but you know these are some real nice pliers and i'm all, i, I want to say i'll take these over the garden and benders I, I you know in fact i'm going to say that i would take these over the garden and benders i like the uh the 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 uh the crosshatch teeth, the the knife feel real sharp. I like I like the I have fish tape puller here. I like the crimp, and the handles feel real good. Pretty nice pliers right here. You can't go wrong. So if you run across a pair of these pliers, guys, and you see them on eBay, um, twenty dollars. Man, don't you pass these pliers up? I'm telling you, don't pass them up. Now these are my old. 
supplier. She's probably going to be every bit of 20 something years old. Uh, I had these a long time. Um, but trust me, I will put these up against any new pair of pliers that I have on here. Uh, it just because they look old, I take care of my tools. The knife is still sharp. Uh, it's not as sharp as it was when I first bought a 20, but it will still get the job done. Even the cross has teed up here, still good. They're well used. They're well used. And all is just this, this, uh, uh, you, you know, it's old cosmetically. And, uh, but it's, it's good. These, these are the dip handle, dipped handle by Klein. They have the, um, they, they don't have a fish tape puller, but they have the crimper, the little teeth in the back right here for pulling. They have the knife, and they have the crosshatch teeth in the front. They are ready. They could be used. They are ready. I, I won't get rid of them. Um, these are by Weha also. And this is their industrial version, uh, Lyman's pliers, 9-inch. And this is also uh, with the New England uh, type, I guess, head design. And what they mean by New English, I'm, you know, what I've got out of it, I think that it's got something to do with the length of the, of the cutter from the, from the tip of the uh, handle, or how long the head has to be. Now, um, this doesn't have the teeth right here in the back like most of the American ones have. I don't even see a fish tape puller here, uh, even though that looked like it would be one there, but it's not. Um, it doesn't have a crimper. It has just the the, uh, the grips in the front, the crosshatch grip, the knife, and they have a, a little spot up here if you ream in our conduit. Um, the handles are very soft. They're really nice handles. And, uh, you know, I don't see too many people. I guess this didn't sell well here in America. I didn't. I don't see too many people with these pliers, but these are some really nice pliers. Again, if you see any one of these pliers online that's, you know, pretty cheap, get them. Uh, I, you know, I get them. These are some nice uh, pliers. All of them are. Uh, some are better, be better than other than the others, but um, get them. Now these clients right here, I've had these a long time. Also, this around the time they first came out with the Journeyman series, the hat for the handles. Um, I I can't see the model number on these. I think it's zero two one three dash nine ne. Okay, this is the Journeyman series with that with this handle, nine inch. Now these don't. This also doesn't have the the grips back here in the front and the back. You know, even though that grip is beat out, I don't see too many people use that anyway. I, I mean, I never really, I don't remember ever using that. I think I may have used it once to pull a fish tape, or grab a to a metal fish tape and pull it. Uh, but anyway, um, and they have the crosshatch teeth and the knife still, just like what I said about these, the knife on here is, is, is still good, very good. The handles feel good. Um, they're, 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 they're well worked in, y'all, well worked. And uh, these are got to be over 15 years old, for sure. Or maybe going on 20. Um, but these are some really very, very, very nice pliers. Now, expensive when they first came out, very expensive. In fact, I think they cost more than anything on this table back then. And um, they, they, they were high. So, but um, I don't think nothing on this table costs as much as these, client, these two clients cost. Crescent. A lot of you are familiar with the name Crescent. Crescent is the brand that makes the adjustable wrench. The um, Crescent wrench, get it? Crescent wrench. Well, this is their version of the Lyman pliers. This is a nine inch pliers right here. And this is a high quality pliers. I know a lot of you, this is probably your first time even hearing about these pliers. I've done a review on most of this stuff up here. Uh, I've added a few pliers to it since. That's why I'm just doing it again, giving you guys a chance to look at it. These pliers right here, very well built, guys. If you run across these, I'm telling you, don't pass it up. The model number to these will be 2050-9C. That's 2050-9C, the Crescent brand. Now, Crescent have another one that's out. They have something like this little adjustable pivot that's in the front. I don't like those. I'll take these any day with the one rivet. And um, they these have the little uh, grip in the back. They have the crimper, have the crosshatch teeth, and they also have the knife. Cushion handles, you can't go wrong. Very nice pliers, very nice pliers. And it won't break the bank, guys. I'm telling you, it won't break the bank. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna get into Ideal. This is Ideal latest, y'all. They just come out with this year, 20, in the year 2021. They just came out, these, I guess, a few months ago. And um, these are nice too, but it's the same identical pliers to this version right here that, the, um, that they had, the previous model. The only thing different between this model and that model is the grips. So, uh, either or, if you see these first, get it. If, but if you 
Uh, I don't know how, how um, these are gonna probably be a little cheaper now since they came out with these. But so if you see these, grab them. The yellow, if you see these right here, grab them. You not get, it's the same plier. It's just a different handle. Uh, these handles here, just a little bit, they feel round and the other ones feel, I'll show you, just a little, they're like square, almost square, but it doesn't make a difference. They still feel good. Both of them do, both of them do. But uh, if you don't know, uh, now you know as far as uh, you're getting the same two. In fact, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it on see it on here. That's I don't know if you guys can see it, but I hope you can. That's thirty dash thirty four thirty, and this one says thirty dash thirty four thirty. This one just has B A on the end, and this one has nothing on the end. Um, both of them made in the USA, and uh, very nice pliers. Both of them have the same features. Very nice pliers. So, uh, guys, that's the, that's uh, we went through just about all of them, and just just for giggles and laughs, I guess I'll just tell you about this one. You've seen the you've seen the video on this one before. I will call this a lineman pliers, but on a smaller version, because it does have certain features on here that a lineman pliers, as far as the head is concerned, you can you can twist wire with this, and um, has a crimp on it, and but I will call it a, a, a smaller. Uh, lineman pliers on a smaller, um, a smaller version of a lineman pliers. But anyway, um, these are all the pliers. Enjoy. Take a look at them. I'm sure you guys have probably have some of these already. May have used them. Have uh, had some of these. Some or have some of these. May have used a pair before. And I'm sure you probably have a story to tell about uh, some of these pliers. So if you do, just leave a comment. Man, let's talk about it. If you, you know, if that's what you want to do, but don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Support the channel. Uh, I appreciate it. And until next time, guys, you guys take care, man, and peace out.